Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to use translation tags for use in custom maps and data packs. This is useful to allow for more accessibility to a project, and I feel the ability to do this is something that's underutilized in the greater community. So let's take a look at what we have here. In my Hellfire data pack, I have some custom items as well as some custom achievements, or advancements, I guess, uh, that I'd like to have them translatable. If we go ahead here and go to Spanish, right here, as you can see, we have some different text here for our items, as well as for two of these advancements. I haven't gotten around doing the rest just yet, but as you can see, these right here have Spanish text, as well as these right here. So let's real quick and switch back to English US. And we will also disable our data or our uh, resource pack just to showcase what everything looks like if you do not have it active at the moment. So what we have here is we have hellfire.item.heart of the hellfire as well as hellfire.item.deadblazeheart. So those are the item tags. And then if we come over here to these, we have hellfire.advancements.root.name and dot description. So these are just some translate tags that I've matched to the, the base game's translate tags as well as I could. So they are rather verbose. They don't have to be as verbose as I'll show here pretty shortly. So let's actually real quick go into our files. Right here we just have our translate files which are in the actual resource pack under assets, Minecraft, and Lang. Then we just have our two languages here. Now if we actually look at those... What we have here is we have hellfire.advancements.root.name. You'll recognize that from the advancement, as well as the dot description here. And then down here at the bottom, we have hellfire.item.blazeheart and heart of the hellfire. And these right here are the translated text strings after you uh, identify the tag. Now, if we go over to Spanish, it's the same exact thing here, except the text here is different uh, because it is translated. Now, to use this, in an advancement, what we do is we have title, and then we have translate. Now, normally what you'd have here is text, and then you'd have your actual text for the name. But since we are using translate tags under translate here, we can identify that exact translation tag and place it as the title and the description of the advancement. Now, this works for anything that could have a text string. So, for example, right here we have our item. We have translate and then hellfire.item.deadblazeheart. Or if we switch back to the game, over here in a command block, we have a pig with a custom name that is translated from demo.txt. So let's go ahead and add that to our language files here. So if we make a thing, demo.txt, and then we identify that as a text string with something, we'll just say this is a pig and then we end it off with a comma. We can then reload our resource packs. And then we can also actually put on the resource pack. Probably didn't need to do the reload there, but whatever. All we have to do now is once we summon the pig, we will see that translated text. This is a pig. Now you can, as I said, you can use this anywhere where you can have a text argument and you instead use a translate argument. This means you can have signs, entities, books, and items slash advancements all translatable. This is very useful and I feel like it should be utilized more. I suppose this is a call to action for resource pack and data pack creators to get at it and try translating some stuff. I feel this makes the community more accessible to more people and overall is a quality of life improvement. So hopefully that made sense, and that was a, an understandable showcase. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all next time.